Cool. Um, make sure you feel like you're you're heading somewhere on line ninety five. Stumbleberry think what and the whining. I have to try to finish it. Stumbleberry think, but uh, okay, cool. One more. Same thing with ninety three. <laughs> Amazing yeah. illusion. Fool your friends. Does not actually provide x-ray vision. Oh, man. This is a ripoff. It's just like that bodybuilding course we got last summer. And I was so looking forward to looking through things. Quick, Fur. We need a 14-inch pipe wrench, a blowtorch, and a jar of mayonnaise. Hi, Phineas. What you doing? Well, I think we're going to build a spa. What do you say, Fur? It'll give you a chance to do your seaweed wrap. You know. <laughs> yeah. Salt scrub, nice, nice. Milk bath, good. Hey, where's Goofer with the seaweed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, huh? Ferb and I are warming up before we meet our special effects hero, Clive Addison, today at the Science Fiction and Fantasy Convention. That explains why you're dressed in costumes from Giant Losers the Musical. Actually, I'm dressed as Captain Lump Sharp Fork from Space Adventure 14. And Ferb's dressed as Jaime Silverman, the elf prince from Stumbleberry, Finkbat, and the Whining Wand of the Turtle Wizard. The line must be drawn here, right between Phineas and his loved ones. Oh, come on. Did you ever consider that fans of Space Adventure... Speckies! Right, Speckies. Have more in common with fans of Stumbleberry, Finkbat, and... Finkies! Maybe Speckies and Finkies have more in common than they do differences. Oh, bite, bite this, this prop tongue, tongue from, episode, from eight. episode 8. Have you ever tried talking to them? Talk? Have you met the leader of the Finkies? We're your biggest fans. Thanks, man. Just too bad there aren't more of you out there. That's crazy. Everyone here loves your work. In fact, they're about to go to war over which of your movies is better. Oh, man, I don't want to hear that. I became a special effects artist to join the nations of this earth together in peace and hope. Well, what other reason is there for creating cool visual effects for film and television? That's it. Verb, I know what we're going to do from this point in the day on. How do you do your voice at, at Phineas? Well, it's a weird thing that a lot of people ask me, and I can't really give them an answer because I don't know. I just uh, always did voices when I was little, and uh, it was something I liked doing, and I can just do it. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure exactly how I do it, but it's just one of those things I always had fun messing around with, and, uh, and it paid off because I was able to, to apply it to my work. 